All right, so welcome back to the trailer project. We need to do some lights, and then hopefully, if we have enough time, try to figure out what to do with those fenders. So, let's just, it's a little bit windy out here, but let's just set everything out and see what we have and see where we're gonna put everything. Yay. So, basically, you should be able to see down here, we got a bunch of different lights. We of course, got two taillights for each side. We got the center three light that that's required when you have a trailer or a vehicle over a certain width. And then we'll have some side running lights. Um, we've got enough back there that We'll have two on the side behind the wheels, and then two of the orange ones in front of the wheels. Then we got a couple of these license plate lights that hopefully we'll have mounted on with the uh, fenders, and we'll have something to go with. So, they're just a simple setup. Just gotta drill some holes run everything in and we should be set all right so as you can see we got our lights installed they're in there but obviously not wired up we're still waiting on some of the wires to show up but they should be here pretty quick but since I was waiting I decided to come over and start working on these fenders Let's go take a slightly closer look at this thing and see what I did here. All right, so. What we have going on here, we've got these little bit of a frame extension. This is, I believe it was inch and a half um, rectangle tube that I had. So I set that on there to make it just a tad bit wider and then I put on these sections of three inch uh, channel. This will hold the side of the uh, fender. And the whole purpose on the extension section is I'm gonna come in with a six foot section of angle iron and it's just gonna set right in there. Kinda like that. And that'll be the back section of the fender. Cause of course, we're making these fenders removable. So, I've got a couple sections there, but I gotta cut them a little bit smaller for that junction. But all in all, looking like it should work pretty decent. So all I've got to do now is pick up some smaller angle iron. I could go with this big guy and put it down there, but I want to go a little bit smaller to make it a little less cumbersome. So you'll basically have angle iron sitting there. We will then weld that guy onto there. And that guy gets welded somewhere along the lines of that.
Now hopefully I've got enough room that I can cut this back, slide this guy up here, maybe come off at an angle. Kind of make it look slightly more like I knew what I was doing. So that is essentially that plan. So and then once we got that on there, we'll mess around with the clips that I got to fasten it on and we'll be set and done. Then I'll just have to finish wiring the lights and the brakes. And we can take it out for a drive. Then of course, throw some decking on it. But anyways, I'm gonna have to pick up some little smaller angle iron from the store most likely. Then we'll be good to go. All right, so yesterday, before all this rain came in, I got the rest of our fenders messed around with. So we got our removable fenders that we can just hook on, clamp back down, and we are good to go. So I'll have to get some sort of pin type of device to kind of pin that out so we don't have any accidental uh, fly-offs going down the road. But that's looking pretty good. Now, currently I still have a few more things coming in for lighting, but hopefully we'll be able to cut to a good view of how the lights look here before we run away for the day. But anyways, I guess it's probably gonna be a good time to stop and see what we got going. Uh, I suppose next time we might just uh, throw a brake controller on the Raider so we can hitch this thing up and test her out. Anyways, thanks for stopping by and watching. Hopefully, we'll see you again later. All right, so like I mentioned, I'm gonna show off a little bit of the lights once I was actually done. It's getting really cold out, so I'm gonna call this close enough. And next time when we do a little wiring on the Raider to get it to function with this thing, maybe wire up the brakes, we can show off some of the additional features that this thing has. One of which I'm gonna show off right now. As you can tell, we had some running lights, and then I enabled this feature, so when you pull the pin on that emergency brake, uh, breakaway uh, setup, it'll automatically put on hazards. So hypothetically, if the trailer comes disconnected from your vehicle, it'll apply all the brakes to kind of stop whatever's on the trailer. And this one. We'll do a nice little blinker set. This will also be handy if for some dumb reason you are on the interstate, have a major malfunction at night and you need to abandon your trailer to go quickly get apart to get rolling. You could just leave it on the side of the road with the blinkers on. So I guess when I left off previously, I had yet to put in these clearance lights. I decided to rig them to the blinkers to add a little extra sight on there. 